Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views. Today is September 17, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Here you're going to see that we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading lower by five and a half points to 29.93 and a quarter per contract. So all in all, futures starting out a little bit on the weaker side. Markets were a little bit lower yesterday with the exception of the Russell 2000. But um, nonetheless, you had a big event over the weekend with the uh, Saudi Arabia oil field uh, fire or attack, whatever it was. We'll find out more, I suppose. Uh, either way, uh, today is the start of a two-day Fed meeting. The Fed will host their uh, FOMC quarterly meeting tomorrow. So again, uh, we'll see what we get there. This Friday is also quadruple witching options expiration. So you got four different asset classes expiring on Friday. That should make for a pretty decent and volatile trading week. So we'll see what we get. But nonetheless, uh, futures are down five and a half points on the S&P 500 E-minis. All right, let's get over to stocks in the news. We're going to start off the first one here. It's going to be KLA 10 core. Uh, looks like uh, the company reaffirmed guidance. That stock is trading up a little bit right now at 153.50. So that's holding up very, very well. This has been a strong, strong name. Remains in an uptrend. I don't really see any problems with it at the moment. I believe they also raised their dividend as well. So KLA uh, catching a little bit of a bid. Here's a stock that's not catching a bid though. Corning, GLW is the ticker symbol there. Stock right now trading at $27.25. Closed at $30.04 yesterday. Looks like they lowered their guidance. I'm going to have a level ready to go in the intraday uh, stock chat room for this one. So again, if you have not done so, come on over. Check out the intraday stock chat room. You can trade right alongside of us. We're having a dynamite 2019. Next up, we have Home Depot in play. Stock right now is trading at $227.90. Down from $230.93. This looks like it was on a... Uh, this fall looks like it's on the back of a downgrade today. So Home Depot being downgraded a little bit. I don't see anything uh, that disruptive yet. So we'll see how it plays out. Still a fair amount of support around 225 if it gets there. Next up, we have Raytheon, RTN. This stock caught a big, big bid yesterday. All of the uh, defense companies did catch big moves yesterday. Today, uh, this has been downgraded, pulling back a little bit, trading at 202.23, close at 204.06. Again, Raytheon is definitely overbought at this stage of the game, so I think traders should be a little bit on guard, but um, with all the geopolitical events out here, it's hard to see a whole lot of downside at the moment, so we'll see how that plays out. Next up, I want to take a look at Splunk, SPLK. Looks like that was upgraded. Stock trading at 117.75, closed at 114.82. So good little pop there for Splunk. I think that might have a little bit more upside to go. Uh, next up, we have Shopify, SHOP. Uh, looks like they did an offering, 1.9 million Class A subordinate voting shares uh, offered out. So this... Um, this stock getting hit today, uh, let me just see where I see anything on the charts here. I would really be careful. Um, right now, trading at 322. It closed at 337. This stock has definitely been under pressure recently. You can see it peaked out here in late August at around $409. Now trading uh, this morning all the, rate, all the way down to 322. So, um, you know, if it gets down to 300, it starts to look attractive for a short-term bounce there. But um, other than that, I don't see a whole lot. Let's do one more here. Kraft Heinz, KHC, uh, is the ticker here. Stock is trading at 26.70, closed at 29.62. This is a pretty good little haircut here, three-point decline for Kraft Heinz. It looks like 3G sold 25 million shares. They still own uh, 245 million, but they did exit 25 million shares of the stock. So again, that stock getting hit on that news. Um, when I look at it, I really don't see anything yet, but we'll keep it on the radar once the opening bell rings today. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market, gold futures, trading up just 20 cents to $1,511.80 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD, which is a good ETF to track the movement in gold, you'll see that's trading at $141.79, up a bit from the 141.32 close yesterday. Crude oil uh, pulling back a little bit today, but it had a monster move yesterday, almost a 14% uh, move on crude yesterday after the news broke out over the weekend about the Saudi Arabia oil field attack. Uh, now we're looking at crude oil down 92 cents 
to $61.99 a barrel. If you take a look here at the USO, which is a good ETF to track the movement in crude, you'll see that's trading at $12.89, actually up from the close of $12.83 yesterday. So um, crude oil, spot crude, that is pulling back a little bit. USO is basically flat. Uh, we'll see how this plays out today. But all in all, um, should be a very, very interesting week with Options X on Friday. And don't forget the all-important Federal Reserve announcement tomorrow at 2 p.m. With that being said, everybody, if you haven't done so, come on over. Check out the intraday stock chat room. You can trade right alongside of us. We should have some great volatility this week with all the events going on. So get ready. It should be a fun one. With that being said, everybody, have a great session. And we'll see you on the charts.